What up, yo? Desert Vapor here with a, another simple quick video on my plume veil. This is a clone, actually. Uh, I don't really like buying clones. I don't, but they're readily available and they are very cheap. For all you new vapors out there, um, support the original uh, designer and engineers, uh, please. Uh, for people like me, I have a tight budget, and uh, so I'm not. I sound like a big fat hypocrite, but I'm just saying, uh, if you have the means and the money, do yourself a favor, get the authentics, but it is what it is. Uh, so here's my Plume Veil clone. Uh, the original designer was Aether Tech of Los Angeles, California. Um, this is a great little Addy. I've done a lot of reviews on RDAs when I wanted to get into dripping, and this one was always at the top, so I went down to the local shop, a White Cloud vape shop or hookah lounge in uh, Mesa, Arizona and picked this up. Great shop. And this Eddy has not uh, let me down. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Uh, stainless steel drip tip, gold plated bottom, spring loaded 510 which does protrude ever so slightly. Um, I have my top post, my positive post up pretty high and tightened down but you can loosen that so if you want to run on a hybrid um, you should be okay, but always use exercise super caution when running hybrid connections, uh, mechanical mods. But, alright, let's, uh, let's get down to the basics here. I'll keep this short and simple because there's like 10 trillion reviews of the Plumeville out there. Um, I got the Tiffany Blue, obviously. Uh, nice engraving down here. Um, I've had it for over a month. Not a single chip in this thing as of yet. You have airflow controls for your negative posts down here on both sides. Um, and here is your main airflow. You have two openings, one here and one here. And basically you just rotate your top cap. You should see her open up here. I'm going the wrong way. I am. Okay, let's go back. You see how she opens and closes? I'll adjust for your airflow control. I keep mine wide open. I like not a cloud chaser. I don't categorize myself as one, but I, I like clouds. And then up here, there's a Delrin piece that's, uh, there's two more air holes up top on the top cap. And what's cool is this, <laughs> this is where the plume veil shines. Not only is it all ultra flavorful, but you can twist this up and open this up. Uh, where you're actually uh, closing off the air holes or opening those up as it. But the cool thing is when you adjust your drip tip down, you're shortening the chamber between you know your coils and wick and your drip tip in here so you're creating an even more flavorful vaping experience which is <laughs> awesome I keep mine down I like I like flavor I'm a big flavor chaser but uh, there she is uh, I got a 0.2 ohm coil in here dual coil you can see there's your positive post four hole or two hole in the positive two or one on each negative post which are milled into the deck. Decent juice well. I'll go ahead and dive up close here. Um, top cap. Here's your air holes, airflow control uh, machine down to that top cap. So you just want to line them up, make sure they line up with your air holes. See, we're all wide open. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh, my simple mod is currently uh, not available, but um, we're going to go ahead and run it on my iJust 2 here by Eleaf. Uh, threads right on. Buttery smooth threads. There she is. She looks nice. Um, okay. Now that we have that on there, I'm going to go ahead and pull off the whole cap. These O-rings are a little tight, so it is nice. There she is. Let's see here. I'm going to go up top and show you a little bit here. Having a hard time focusing. There you go. We'll go ahead and juice her up and I'll show you how she performs real quick. Today I'm running once again Red Star Vape Shop in Mesa, Arizona. Home Blends. This is a uh, concoction actually a co-worker of mine came up with. Strawberry Mountain Dew Menthol Mix. <laughs> it, don't, don't laugh. Tastes good. Uh, 1090 VIX mix of PGVG uh, nicotine 0.3 milligram. So let's, uh, the bottle's leaking a little bit. Just uh, trip her up a little bit here. Get it under the coil 
just fill up that juice well. Juice well is pretty decent on this thing. It's not nearly as deep as my troll, but it's not bad. So we'll go ahead and get her nice and wet. That's what she said. All right. And then, like I said, here's your negative post. No, it's not focusing again. That's fantastic. Okay. Sorry about that. Wasn't focusing. Had to readjust it. Here is your negative post and airflow hole right there. Both sides. That's where these little air holes come in. So, you know, line them up. And we're good. Air holes are wide open on this. Let's fire her up. Go up top and have a quick vape. Like I said, air holes are wide open, and my top is down for more flavor. It's my ugly mug again. Like I said, this is the point two coil, dual coil. As you can see, puts out. Not bad. The flavor is my favorite. Uh, my two already is my Troll and my Plume Veil. Uh, I like it better than the E-Leaf I just two tank and my even my Nautilus Mini. I hate to say that, but that is a flavorful tank too. But this, um, as I always say, if you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. To quote Ferris Bueller. It is so choice. Thanks for watching once again. Plumevale RDA by Ethertech. This is a clone now. Do yourself a favor, pick up the original. I do have a little juice leakage out of there as you can see. That's my own bad. But uh, 5 out of 5. That's what she gets. Thanks for watching.